Okay, now I'm going to go over the operation that I have of my car computer and the software that I'm using. I'm using Centerfuse, as you can see, and it's using the... I forgot what the name of the theme is, but it's a... Um, it comes in green, red, gray, and blue. Uh, I have the blue as my daytime and my nighttime switches to red because I have an SI Civic, which is red and black, and it lights up at night. So let's start. Playlists, obviously the same as normal. Visualizations are there if you're not familiar. There are more than one. I think there's three, and you can show just show the album art. You have playlists here. You can scroll through if you want. So give you a different playlist. Go to your library. Go to music folders. I don't know. Um, let's try R&B albums. There you go. The home, you can use gestures to move to the next song or move back a song. Music does basically the same thing. You can uh, go by genre and just play everything. Cut up the volume if you'd like. Has mute. Voice activation. I have a microphone, but I have not done the settings yet for it, so I can't really show you that. Videos as well. You can go uh, into your video folder and watch videos. Then once you uh, exit out, it's still in your playlist, and you can just jump back to your music if you want. Uh, navigation. I'm using iGuidance uh, 4.0. That's obviously it's off because you know I don't want anybody to know where I live. This is a uh, basically where it is. You can actually drag and uh, search if you want. I have the XM installed, although I don't have an account yet, so it'll just play some default music that they have going on. That's, that's all integrated. Phone is integrated, although I don't have my phone around. But it does work. DVD. Uh, let me put a DVD into my DVD drive. Show that. It does autoplay when you plug in a DVD as well. Which you'll see in a second. And there goes the DVD starting up. Of course, you don't have to have that pop bar. Get out of that. Go right back to XM if you'd like. OBD2, I don't have a connector, obviously. It's not in my car, so it wouldn't help much anyway. So. But it's going to be in my car once I uh, put it in there. There's a bunch of different settings that you can use. Plugins and skins are both browsers of plugins that have been created in the uh, Flux Media forums. So if you go in there, you can see all the uh, plugins that are in there. They have a bunch of different ones, and they're always updating them. Skins will show you all the skins that you can download. All free, of course. See the one that I have is called... I still don't see the name anywhere here. Uh, but that's the one that I have. It comes in green, red, gray, blue. Go back home. You can access the, the web, as you can see. You can go and search whatever. And you can find it. Weather. Automatically updates the weather. You can actually go in deeper and get airport conditions if you want and it'll take you to the web and it'll load that page so you can see all the weather conditions of the at the airport if you have a flight takes a little bit
That didn't work. Probably has to do with their website. File Explorer, so you can go through your files if you ever need to. Wi-Fi, I have a wireless end card plugged into my mini PCI Express slot. On my last motherboard, it had a problem coming out of, uh, out of standby. On this motherboard, when it comes out of standby, it cuts right back on. That is pretty much it. It has gestures for other things too. Navigation will take you to the navigation window. Uh, backslash will always take you back to the main menu. That's pretty much it. There's not much else here. It runs pretty smooth. If you ever want to go back to using Windows, you can just go right down into Windows. And it, it runs just like normal. So that's really it. That's everything that I have in this in this car computer currently. I'll give you a quick tour of the hardware that I'm running as well. This is my setup. It's a junky mess as you can see but um, I have my oops, my D-Link hub there with my Bluetooth plugged into there it's got external power because I'm going to be powering the hub externally because the CD drive eats up like 3 amps of current and the USB drive only provides like 500 milliamps so you're going to need to do that I have my uh, computer power supply is what I'm using currently to uh, power it in the house. I have my switch over here. You can barely see it, but it's there. Right there. That's what I use to turn the ignition on and off. I have a uh, MCS case. And that, that, that works pretty well as well. And there goes my CD drive, which is kind of nice. And that's it.